Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to create this design right here. This is sort of that shape cloud design where you've got different words that fit into a shape. So this is a style you may have seen around Etsy or on Amazon, and I've had people asking how to do this. I will show you how to do it using uh, Creative Fabrica, Canva, and um, Photo P to sort of get the gradient look. So if this is something that you're interested in learning about, please do stick around. Uh, so today I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to create sort of a word cloud using uh, Creative Fabrica. Now this, um, this tool that they have in Creative Fabrica, you can use it for free, but they'll only let you do five downloads for free. So it's a good way to try it, after which you would have to pay for a membership. Now you can get a membership right now for, I think it's $4.99 a month so that is pretty cheap $4.99 a month and then you have access to everything on Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica does have a lot of freebies and so there's a lot of free things that you can use without having to spend any money at all but if you do like the word cloud and you want to make more than five designs it may be worth spending the $4.99 in order to do that. So right now I am on the Creative Fabrica main page. There are a bunch of freebies here. So you can see if I was to go to all freebies, I could see everything. There's free fonts, SVGs, graphics, etc. But if you go to the top and you kind of come along this menu up here, you will find something called tools. And now if you go down the tools until you hit the one that says shape cloud, that is the one that most of you probably think about when you're thinking about words, so shape cloud. And so I'm gonna click on that and it is pulling up this shape cloud design. So right now it's ahead and it just says, you know, Creative Fabrica designs. So the way that this would work is you can upload your words into here. So you pick whatever words you want, you pick whatever shape you want, you pick whatever color and font you want, and it will create a design for you that you can then download and you can, you know, put it directly on different platforms to sell, or you can upload it to um, something like Canva to then add you know, more flourishes or other things to it. So I'm gonna show you today really quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these words. We're gonna make our own. And because I'm a physical therapist and it is a beautiful day for physical therapy, I'm gonna do a physical therapy one. So what I am gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna start with some different words. I'm gonna use some longer ones, some shorter ones. Um, it will limit how long the words are, so you can't do anything too long, but let's go ahead and just start with um, PT. So. PT is for physical therapy. And a DPT is for doctor of physical therapy. And then I can always go ahead and just put doctor of. So doctor of, and then physical is gonna be one word. And therapy is gonna be a new word. This is because physical therapy by itself is too long. So it does limit how many characters you can do to make this work. And you do want a combination of shorter and longer words. Um, to make this all fit together nicely. So I've got five words in here for physical therapy. I can use um, any of the shapes that they have here. Um, not that they have a ton to search through, but you can also kind of upload your own. So it'll allow you to upload a shape if you want to. Um, so right now it just says miscellaneous and they do have, you know, different um, things that you can search through, wedding, it's on miscellaneous, basic, you know, baby kids, animals. If you went to something like basic, it's just gonna give you your basic shapes, which is easy if you wanted something like, you know, a square or a rectangle, a star, you know, that's all pretty easy. Um, so lots of easy stuff there. Um, miscellaneous is good. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this little cross. So the cross is pretty easy. I'm gonna stick with that, it sort of has a medical feel to it. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and select a font and they have a lot of different fonts here for you to choose from depending on the way you want this to look. So I could do something that's a little bit more um, formal looking or something that's a little bit more scripty depending on kind of how I wanna go. Let's say I wanna go with something a little bit more scripty. And then I can go ahead and pick some colors. So right here you can pick single color. Right now it's just on blue and you can select any color you want or you can put shush. Schema, I can't say that, schema. And it will give you different options 
for different color palettes here that you can choose from and that'll allow you to use different colors within your design which I think is kind of cool so depending on whether you want it to be something nice and bright or a little darker anything you want there because I do like to design mostly for darker shirts I tend to want to gravitate towards some of the lighter colors because I think that they'll show up better on dark so for example if I was to go with this one this was bright lots of different colors there that one might work um, there is stuff like the the beach themes that I like I like those colors but the dark ones may not stand out super good if I put it on like a black shirt so it just depends what you're going for I'm gonna go ahead and show you with this bright colored one here just because it's gonna be bright colors now once you have all of your things um, selected all you have to do is hit update changes now you can do this as many times as you want update the changes um, the five free downloads that you get only apply to when you download the design so you can play with it as much as you want and when you have it the way you want it then you can download the design that will take one of your five choices so as you can see here I've now made my design it's a plus size design it's you know, got the different words in it and it looks kind of cool. Now I can again play with it as much as I want. So let's say, you know what, I'm really not very fond of that kind of font right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the font. I'm thinking maybe we'll go with something a little bit more formal. Um, so let's update the change there and see what happens. And so I can again play as much as I like super fond of the color. I can always again come down here and we can just play with this. You know, this one has some nice light tones to it. So let's just go ahead and update that and give it a sec. Perfect. And so I really like the way that this looks. It did change it up a little bit again. So that looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and just go with this one right here. Looks nice. Um, hopefully it'll turn out good on a dark background, but I won't be able to tell until I put it on a dark background to kind of see it. So let's go ahead, we'll just download this. So this would count as one of your downloads if you don't have a prescription, uh, sub sorry, a subscription. <laughs> I'm already in work mode. Um, if you do have a subscription, you have unlimited. So you can do this as many times as you want. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and save this as a PNG. So I'm just gonna hit save as PNG. And then what I'm going to do is jump over to Canva. So Canva is where I like to sort of play with things. So I'm going to go over to Canva. I'm on my home page here and I'm going to go over to where it says create a design. I will go down to custom size. I usually design in 4500 by 5400. It really depends what I'm designing for. But if I was making like a t-shirt or whatnot, that is my pretty standard size. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. And I am going to go ahead and pick a dark background. So I'm going to go ahead and select black for my background color. So here I am. Now I want to upload um, the design that I just made on Creative Fabrica. So to do that, I can come over to the left hand side of the page. There's a tab that says uploads. If I click there, I can come to upload files, select the design I just made and hit open. There we go. And so now I can just click on that close that and so here is my design now unfortunately it really does not read very well on this dark background because i'm losing that doctor so few ways that you could go with this i could either again use a lighter color background and that might work well um, i could try to put an outline around this but all of these little texts would end up with an outline and that would be oh that would be really rough, I think, to try to put an outline around every little thing. I'm gonna change the background color. How would this look if I had it on a gray shirt? So the problem with the schema is what I'm seeing is that because it's got both really light and really dark colors in it, if I put it on a light color shirt, I lose the light color text. If I put it on a dark color shirt, I lose the dark color text. So as cool as that looks, unless the you know, the colors are all pretty consistent in that they're all dark or they're all light. It's gonna be really hard to put it on something and still have everything seen. So what I can do if I'm not liking it is go right back over to my Creative Fabrica. So I still have this up. I haven't, you know, changed any of it. So I can just go back and forth between the two and I can kind of try to rechange the colors again. So I decided that that just, it had too many dark tones. It wasn't gonna work for me. Um, there isn't anything on here that really has all light tones, unfortunately. And there's some brighter ones here if you wanted to go for some bright colors, but I don't really have the ability to make them all 
lighter, all dark here. Let's see. So there's another one, different colors there. And I mean, that kind of looks cool. It just really depends. It's not popular colors. Maybe I'm just going to go ahead and go with single. That way I can do pretty easy single color. I'll do all white. You won't be able to see it very well on this white background, but let's see. Yeah, so you really can't see this very well on the light background at all, but I do think it's going to look okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and download that again as a PNG. And I will go uh, back over to, um, uh, to my, my design here. And I'll go back over to uh, uploads. I'm going to upload it again. If I come over to the left hand side where it says uploads and I select my uploaded white uh, cross, I'm going to go ahead and make it nice and big. And now one thing that I could do, I could leave it alone like this and that looks perfectly fine. Or I could put a clipping mask over it and give it sort of a gradient look since I didn't necessarily like the different colors because they were a little too dark. I could get a clipping mask on it and get a gradient that way. And I could, of course, make the cross kind of angled if I wanted to, or I could keep it pretty straight up. I think I'm just gonna keep it up. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna make this a frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put PT cross frame, and I'm gonna download this uh, with a transparent background. I guess I didn't have to do that because I've already got my shape cloud downloaded there, but let's just do it anyways, transparent background. And I'm gonna come up to elements and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look for a, a gradient, like a light gradient. So let's go with, and if you know what colors you want, that makes it a little bit easier. So there's different gradients that way. Um, I could go with photo gradients as well. And so that tends to look pretty cool. I like this sort of gold one looks nice. Um, I could do different colors. So if I put in red gradient, it's gonna give me different shades of red. I want it to be pretty light, but I could do something really light like that where I just have the light going into the red that way. Um, there's another one there, some little splotchies, a little bit there. So I'm looking for something light colored. What if I put light gradients? Oops light gradient okay so now it's giving me different light gradients so there's some blues there i still do kind of like the gold um different shades here let's see if i find anything that i particularly like i want it to be really light in color i like this but i'm not super fond of the color let's see if it gives me any similar ones Maybe this one here, it's pretty simple. It just sort of goes from a really light blue to sort of a whitish color. And I could do that a few different ways. Let's see if I put this here, pull it all the way out. Let's get the blue way down at the bottom there. And let me use some transparency so I can see through it. It's gonna give me an idea of how the gradient would flow. So that might work as just a really subtle gradient. So what I could do is sort of blue and white um, mask. I'll just call that a mask. Download, I'm gonna do a transparent background. Actually, it doesn't matter for this because it's just gonna be the mask. And let's go ahead and we'll just stick with that just to make it easy so I can show you. I'm gonna jump over, I'm gonna use Photo P here just to get the clipping mask on there. So type Photo P in your browser, open it up, it'll look like this, open from computer. You don't have to have an account or anything, just hit open from computer and you can open up um, what you just made. So oops, I opened the background first, but it doesn't really matter, I'll open the cross. So what I have is my cross and my background. So what I need is for the background to be on top of the cross so I can come over here to layers and just 
adjust the layers that way by putting the background on top and make sure that it's the one selected. So right now the bottom is selected. If I do this now, the top is selected. So I want my background on top with my, or sorry, my mask on top and I want it to be selected. Then I can come up to the top where it says file, go over to layer about halfway down. It'll say clipping mask. I throw my clipping mask on it. There we go. Now I can hit file, export as a PNG. A box will pop up that looks like this. I can rename it if I want to. So I could put uh, blue, white, PT and hit save. And then I can jump right back over to Canva. So right now I just have all of these pages, you know, open. So I can jump back and forth really easily between all of them. I can add a new page here just so that I can do a comparison. Go over to my left, hit uploads, upload files again, upload what I just made. There we go, click on it close this and so now I've got my cool word cross and it has just a little bit of a clipping mask on it like that just to give it a little extra color so what we've got is a little bit of a gradient there and so I think that the gradient looks pretty cool I'm pretty happy with the way that that looks and so I might go ahead and just use it as is on uh, some sort of black background and then now this could be a, a t-shirt or it could be pretty much anything that you wanted with a nice dark background this would look good on so anyway sorry it was a uh, longer than i wanted it to be but i just wanted to uh, show you guys how you could use a sort of the um the shape cloud and put the words in it to, to make this style of design because i know people have asked about this kind of style of design you could also go ahead and market this as um custom products so if you wanted to sell custom products to people let's say on Etsy, you could offer that they could give you words that you could then put in and create whatever they wanted and sell it custom that way. And so I've seen people doing that with pillows or blankets or anything else where they can just, you know, put in names or anything they want to to sort of customize it. Um, if you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I do try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well with your sales. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.